So what's good people? Welcome to Music Tech Works. This is Sid Mac. And I've been getting text and all kind of notifications uh, from friends and fellow producers and a lot of people that I deal with. And they're, they uh, actually informed me about the little leaks about the NPC XL. And these were some of the pictures that I was able to snatch and some of the specs. Uh, so let's talk about that first and then let me just give, give you my thoughts on this where I really really stand with this um, so when I'm just looking at the spec sheet here what I see different from the X is the amount of RAM okay so we got 4 gigs of RAM instead of 2 Okay, and I am trying to see I mean, it's even the same power supply. The picture looks just it looks just like the X, except for the color scheme, which is more of a classic uh, NPC, more like a 3000, kind of reminds you of the Renaissance with the bigger screen on it. I don't know, so let's let's talk about it. So, first of all, for those who don't know, I've been on the Akai MPC since I would say the first time I actually used one was in 1995. Okay, and it was with the MPC 2000. Yeah, it was the MPC 2000. Uh, I didn't know how to use it. I knew how to play the notes, and the guy at the studio. He actually just kind of um, press record and everything. After a while, I figured it out, but that was my first time using it. And I've owned every MPC since then, except for the MPC 500, which I don't even really like that much. It was okay. I just, maybe the screen, maybe it was the screen for me that bothered me, but I've owned every MPC in, in 2017. It's when I got the most excited when the NPC X was dropped. Okay, so for those who don't know, and if you're clicking on this video, you probably know this is the NPC X. All right, so a lot of people, you know, they'll have the conversation, oh, what's the best NPC ever? I mean, it's kind of hard to say because you have different eras of the NPC. Most people, a lot of people say the NPC 3000 was the greatest. I would say it was the greatest sounding one. Uh, feature wise, I would probably say between the X and the and the 4000. But with the X, you can kind of put the NPC Live in the same category. It's just a smaller version with, with fewer buttons. And same thing with the NPC One. So comparing the NPC 4000 to the NPC X, uh, I would just say the, the sound is different and the NPC X is more convenient in a lot of ways. We'll do some videos on that later. So with, with my experience with the NPC X and even the live, uh, basically the same specs, um, as far as the, the gigs and the RAM and everything, like I've never ran out of of, uh, space when loading up samples I never ran out of CPU power I never had it crash I never had any issues with it um, so when we're thinking about this I'm thinking like what would they actually do now I do own the NPC key 61 all right so this unit has the has the upgraded RAM in it and I mean, it seems to be doing okay. I really couldn't tell a difference between the, you know, by using my live or my X with the two gigs RAM. Guess it's just it's just all about space and everything that you have in it. So more RAM would be nice if they allow more than eight plugins while working in standalone mode. 
that would be nice. I don't know a lot of people, including myself, who use more than eight, who would use more than eight instruments, but you can kind of switch up between the actual plugins and the key groups. The key group programs are really good and it's not much different than the than the than the plugins to me. I mean sound wise, you know. I do love the synths, the hype, the uh the tube bass, and a few of the other synths that are included with the NPC. And the new uh paid instruments like the Mini D. It's actually pretty decent. I own a hardware version of the Mini D of the Moog and it's actually a clone by Behringer which is called the uh, Model D and kind of A and B in them there not not too much different you know the digital one of course is a little bit cleaner but you can do some things to dirty it up and whatnot but um, just being able to use those instruments without the actual machine crashing and running out of CPU and saying oh yeah, there's already eight plugins available. You know, maybe this this new RAM update would allow for more um, VSTs. I mean, 16 would be nice. Or 16 plugins, that would be nice. You know, you can do everything basically with that. Then um, along with your loading of your samples and everything, like 16, four gigs of RAM should be enough. Okay, yeah, it should allow for more than eight plugins. All right, so I'm thinking, okay, so what, what would they do for a new NPCX? Okay, I'm on the Kai's team and I'm sitting in a meeting with them and I'm asking, yo, so what, what do our customers want? What do our users want? Um, just basic, simple, I mean, really, it would be great if that was in standalone mode, if there was a way to change the sample rate and bit debt. Uh, and it does have these uh, the, the vintage modes and that function, which is okay. But I mean the actual circuitry, not not a software plug-in emulation. I mean the actual circuitry, like the 4000, being able to change the sample rate and the uh, bit debt. Like if you want to do 8 bit, you can sample you can sample that, or something like the S950. If you want to do 12 bit, if you want to change it to yeah, the 12-bit sound to, to emulate a MPC, uh, an MPC 62, you know. Um, but that's a lot of circuitry work. And basically, these are computers in a box, the new generation MPCs, which is okay. They, they sound good. They sound pretty good. And especially with today's music, if you're listening, seeing what's up, you know, it's, it's acceptable. I would say it's acceptable. But personally, I like the sound of the older NPCs. Just got more grit to them, a little bit more power, a um, little bit more roundness. But you can get that sound pretty close with the new NPCs. And the only ones probably really thinking about it is us. Your, your, your average music listener, they don't care about all that. You know, they, they may love a track, love a beat, but they don't know what you use. They don't really care. They just like the beat and the song. And uh, that's pretty much it with them. But us who are audiophiles, who are just in love with the sound of the actual sound of the machines, you know, it's, it's a different story. So I would want an, an actual onboard, like a real analog, like a circuitry, a, a vintage switch to turn that on. Okay, and now you have the a real breathing unit. You know, to me, these new NPCs, they don't breathe. The NPC 2000 XL, 2000, and the 4000, and the X, the XL, when I turn those machines on, you know, they the breathe, they get hot. You know, these NPCs, these new ones, they don't get hot. So this it's a different type of situation. So that's one of the things I would want. More of a um, an analog circuitry, a yeah, almost like a synth type uh, situation, kind of like the the Roland Phantom versus the the uh, F 6s where they just all it's just all digital circuitry, but there's no analog, nothing in there breathing, no transistors, you know, as far as well, maybe not transistors, but no no analog, nothing to make it get hot. The Phantom does though; it gets hot. Okay, it has real analog circuitry in it, circuitry like the V synth, the Roland P, P synth. Those older machines, like the Triton, you know, they had real analog 
uh, circuitry and they just weren't were not uh, digital emulations and digital playbacks okay so to me that would make it an XL because now you got the you got the new technology blending in with the old technology and not just the technology but the actual sound itself the sound of it so that would make it great all right so the next thing is the software I'm happy with the NPC software. I'm not complaining. I only have maybe a couple of gripes and I'm sure and what I'm thinking and I'm hoping with NPC 3.0, this new XL should come with an upgraded version, an updated version of the NPC software. Simple things like being able to import MIDI into a track. Okay, every software does it. Should be able to just take that MIDI file and drop it in the track without it having to create a new sequence. Now, I've seen other people do it and they got the workarounds and all that. Okay, all that is cool, but we just want to be able to just drag the MIDI file into a sequence onto a track and that's it. No having to go copy this and paste this and create this and, and go around the world and back and, you know, rewrite the, uh, the code you know for how the universe works no we just want to be able to simply drag the um, the a MIDI file into um, into the NPC software and those are single files I've seen when some people drop them in you know like it may be a 16 track MIDI file and then it'll go yeah that's fine but if I just want to use a if I want to send a, a MIDI file to one of my collaborators and they should just be able to take that file and just drag it and drop it into the sequence, automatically creating a new track. Okay, so that's my thoughts on that. I think they should be able to do that. I think we should be able to do that. And um, that's one of the updates. Also, maybe it's time for an arranger. Okay, like a real arranger view, just like it is on the on the uh, Akai Force, which I did on the Akai Force. It's just not my style of production. Um, I use Ableton here and there. I actually learned it to be able to teach other people, but I have made some pretty good records uh, with it. And once those come out this summer, I hate saying what's coming out. I don't, I don't like the jinx things. And you know, you're depending on labels to drop things and these artists to fight for you to get singles. And whether on a major or independent, you, you know, you just depend on those uh, machines to run for you. You know, so. But hey, the Ableton style of production was not my style. I can do it. I like it. I just like the MPC better. Okay. That's for me. But I'm glad they finally brought the hype over. The hype sim that came out with the Kai Force at first. So now it's time to get to the range window. Get to the range view. Just a, a linear left to right, you know, like a doll. Okay. So along with the range window, my other thing that I would like to see in the NPC XL with the software update is actually to what to make to actually make this a uh, an XL version is this just better DAW functionality you can record even in standalone mode you can record you know have your tracks and you, you can record your audio tracks and everything and standalone mode is, is up to eight audio tracks on the computer, it is pretty much, you know, no limit on the, how many audio tracks you can have. Uh, basically, just depends on your computer. But I just think the DAW should be more DAW-like. You know, it's you can't arrange the tracks as far as, oh, let me make my snare drum track number one or number two or whatever. You can't slide them up and down. It's, it's just a lot of things that hopefully they have worked on to uh, make this mo more of a DAW experience. I could actually do everything inside of the NPC, all my sessions and everything, you know, it's, it would be kind of the weird saying, oh, you got the NPC session versus, you know, everybody saying, oh, you got the Pro 2 session or you got the Studio One file or Project Logic song file or, well, it would be Logic Project or Studio One song file, but NPC, you know, you got the NPC, you got the song, you got the, the data files, you know, it would be kind of weird, but, if they get everything, if they get that doll to looking like an actual doll and feeling like a doll with real tools and everything, I would consider using it. 
as a uh, as a serious, you know, digital audio workstation as far as recording and mixing. Just the, the mixer, like everything, it just looks, it's, it's just, I don't know, to me it doesn't flow. So I usually just make my tracks inside of the NPC. And then I record vocals and mix and edit and do everything outside of the NPC, uh, mainly in Pro Tools, mainly. Okay, sometimes I go to Studio One. Studio One has a great sound. And uh, yeah, dolls do have different sounds. So we'll talk about that later. But uh, my favorite sounding doll right now, believe it or not, is UAD Luna. And Luna is now native. You do not need to have a a um, universal audio interface now. So I have to double check this, but I believe you just have to have the Spark subscription or, or on the uh, UAD plugins or one of the interfaces to even get the software and you can get Luna for free. Uh, I can imagine they'll probably start charging for it later, like maybe make Luna part of the Spark deal, add an extra $5 or whatever. But um, yeah, Luna, we'll talk about Luna. Luna is actually becoming my favorite doll right now. Maybe it's the, you know, the analog em emulation, the, the UAD plugins and everything. But back to the uh, to the NPC XL. Those are the things that I would that it. Oh, and I, on this picture here, I do not see a touch strip. Okay, so I have I got the NPC K sixty one, and and it does have the touch strip on along with the in the NPC Studio MK two. And I've gotten gotten kind of used to it and been using it. You know, just it's, it's pretty cool. It does a few things that that's, that's dope. All right, but I don't see a touch strip on this MPC XL. And to be honest, I think this is a, pro, a prototype pitch. I can't imagine this being the final version of the MPC XL. I'm not like, oh my goodness, I cannot wait to get this. I'm not, I'm not feeling that right now. And that's just my honest opinion. Everybody who knows me knows that I'm an MPC fanatic. So I don't, uh, I'm not feeling that right now. So, uh, I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't, for some reason, I don't think this is the final version. If it is, I'm thinking they'll probably drop the, um, the MPC X. I'm thinking they'll drop the price down to $18.99 if they continue to manufacture it. And then they'll make the MPC XL the $22.99 brand new. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking. Like, what would be the price point on this? Okay. I got the X already since day one. I actually pre ordered mine. And I got it about a few days after they dropped. Okay, actually got it from Zions. All right. It came in two days. All right, and that was back in 2017. So I've had the same MPC X ever since then. All right, and I've even posted a couple of things on my Instagram. You know, some of the first beats I made with it and just kind of saying, hey, yo, I got the new one, you know. And in the corner, you know, I still got my 60 and my 3000 and all my other NPCs, you know, in today's music biz, I'm trying to compete. So, like, I don't have, depending on, it, it, it really depends on what I'm working on. Like, if I can just throw something together real quick, you know, it's different, but it, it, it really just depends on the project, you know, and, and what's needed. You know, like all my hip-hop clients, you know, yeah, I, I, I bust out the old school gear if, if they want that sound, you know. And actually, to be honest, those tracks cost more. They cost me more time, and my fee is higher for those when they specifically think, hey, can you make me a beat with the SP-1200? Sure. Okay. Yeah, it costs a little bit more. Number one, I don't own one. I have to borrow one or rent one, uh, but I am looking to get one. But it's just a convenience. You know, you got people you know throwing out tracks in fs studio in five minutes which is cool i can do that with the npc as well because i know like the back of my hand but just being able to compete that's why i use the newer generation npcs um i'm gonna say about 90 percent of the time i use the npc x or the npc uh key 61 i use those one of those or both of those together or however it's usually one or the other because it's like overkill. I got both of these machines here and they both do the same exact thing. Except for one has keys on it, okay? And one has a touch strip. And that would be the MPC Key 61. 
And now, um, another thing that would be great to make this an XL, especially if the price is like drastically different from the X. Uh, maybe I don't mind paying for the instruments for the extra synths, but maybe just maybe one one nice synth, you know, to throw into in, into the package. Okay, so just one little exclusive synth for the NPC XL. Okay, and then just make it pay for every other for everything else that that somebody might want to use it on their Key sixty one or on their NPC Live or something like that. And I am pretty sure more sounds or more plugins are being developed, and there probably should be some that come with the NPC key XL. I mean, with the NPC XL, and is that really the name of it? Probably so. I'm thinking it's going to be that. You know, I was thinking they was going to do the NPC X2 or something like that, NPC X MK2. Um, or NPC 2X or something like that, but XL, you know, that's with all these documents floating around and everything, um, it's probably true that it, that's the name. And the other thing with it being an XL, this cannot be the final color scheme, okay? And Kai's supposed to be moving to the future. I do love the older machines, but I can get this skin from NPC stuff or one of the other companies that create skins to, to make it look like a 3000 um i would just have rather they just did another black one to be honest with you or just give people options for the color maybe an all white one or all black you know make it look like a 3000 uh le or something right now it just looks like a 3000 if and, and you know like a renaissance looking like a renaissance with the screen being uh large so It's basically the MPC X with more storage space in a different um, color scheme here. Hmm. Are they updating the CPU? Is it going to be the same CPU that's been inside of the new gen uh, MPC since 2017? Okay, what will we get with that? And honestly, I've never had an MPC crash on me. I've never had anything to bug out you know with the os or anything or ran out of space or anything like that i've just gotten the, you know the warning about oh you you got eight instruments only eight can be used when i'm in standalone mode okay but besides that um i haven't had any major issues with the npc with the new generation okay i do have a five uh, npc live that right now is stuck in update mode but that's some uh, circuitry they had changed the what they call the PCB carrier boards. They actually updated those in the live too. So you know, as far as hardware, that, that's the only problem I've had with the NPC X. I've gotten them, and somebody said, "Oh, it don't work." So they sell it to me for eight hundred dollars. You know, for NPC X. Then I get it, do my little thing on it, and there's really actually nothing wrong with it. And I keep it or give it away or whatever or sell it for a little profit but for the most part um, I hadn't had any hardware issues with the NPC X Live or the Live 2 actually it's just that uh, that NPC Live that I bought and you know, I really just bought it for parts to have it for backup because the screen the screen is good the only thing bad in that machine is the uh, PCB carrier board and I don't know if I want to spend $300 on a part to get it fixed when the Unit itself is worth three, four hundred dollars. So, the, and this is the first version of the NPC Live, without the speaker, without the CV outputs and whatnot, uh, and buttons, extra buttons. But I don't know. I, I just, I really want to be excited about this. But I am. I'm actually not. I think I'm. More, still more excited about the MP key, the MP, uh, MPC key 61. I just think I'm, I, I think I'm there with that. I'm still on it because it's, it's, it's a nice situation, you know. It's just an MPC with keys. Okay, yeah, true. But you know, it's just the whole workflow, you know, just, just all in one and 
just being able to get that with one piece. And then on the other hand, I like the feel of the actual box, the square the drum machine. So I kind of go back and forth and I'm gonna set my studio up to where I have like two different stations and and then I can go over here or you know, anybody I'm collabing with, they come over here, hey, you on the X, I'm on the NPC Key 61, and we can just meet up later and you know, and just work on some things. But um, I, I want to be excited. I just think it, it just has to be more, especially to make me spend another twenty five hundred dollars. Who knows what it's going to cost, you know, um, when I already got the X. I'm, I'm just trying to justify besides, oh, I want to make a video on YouTube just to show it to everybody. You know, it's it can't be that it has to be something that I can actually use something that I can use. Uh, to actually that's profitable to for my business and to for my journey and everything like I need to be able to actually use it um yeah and that's that's pretty much my thoughts on it yeah I know it might be a surprise I'm not all hyped up and super going crazy right now and like oh my gosh I can't wait I can't wait actually I can is this what it's gonna be hmm I'll be sticking with my ex for a while I just, I don't know. I'm not excited. I'm not excited. Um, I don't know. It has to be something to call the XL. It just has to be something drastic, you know. It's and then maybe maybe they're gonna make an NPC that's small enough to compete with the with the uh, SP404 and the MK2. I had a friend bring his over and I played with it for a while. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, you know. It's really great for sampling and. I sample, but I don't like do a lot of loops and things like that. Um, I like to play my parts in, so I know this might be, you know, considered whatever. But but as far as a sampler, I can actually sample my own loops and throw it in the SP or four four and create full songs and whatnot. But I do love the way that it sounds. It sounds great. Maybe one of the NPCs, if they do more than one, is gonna be in direct competition with the SP four four. Okay, that would be nice. And then maybe with that one, they can actually allow it to do key groups. And, you know, that, that's something that you can hold in your hand and take with you and run on batteries. You know, that would be nice. NPC Live is pretty good like that. It's still, you know, it's a, it's a whole lot larger than the SP404. And the NPC One, unless you get a battery pack with, you know, your own third-party battery pack, is it's not... Um, you have to plug it up into something into the wall for power so I'm thinking that they're going to come out with a small version of the NPC to compete with the SP404 okay and then I think they are going to come out with the NPC key 88 okay so what that's going to entail is basically just 88 hammer action keys and with a flip screen, that's what I think. And they'll probably have the SD card slot. Like, don't ever not have the SD card slot. I was kind of disappointed on that. So what I had to do, you know, I, I got an external. I can use a hard drive. I hate using USB sticks with these things, but I will or I have. But I got a uh, external hard drive connected to my to my uh, Key 61. I also got an internal 500 terabyte. I think it's yeah about a half of a yeah 500 gig uh, internal SSD hard drive. So place inside the, but just popping it out and putting it in my computer or switching it over to the can't do that anymore because there's not an SD card. I just have to take the thumb drive out and uh, plug it into the NPC X. But yeah, th those those are pretty much my thoughts on this uh, this new NPC XL coming up and um. I don't know. Let's let's just see what happens in the next few weeks. And if I have any more thoughts, I'll, I'll post some another video. Anybody got any comments? Go ahead and feel free to leave any comments or your thoughts about um, this little leak that we have here. Is it true? Is it somebody playing games? Um, I don't know. Anybody can take Photoshop and create something or even this document here. You know, it's basically the same document as the, the NPC X document. You can take that document, Photoshop it, put NPC XL right here. You can change it 
from with two gigs of RAM, you can change that if you want to. Um, it has the same has the same power supply. It's the same power supply. 19 volt. Uh, so actually, same one with the NPC Live. It has the, the uh, built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Well, I see Wi-Fi. So a lot of people say, what's the Wi-Fi for? The Wi-Fi is it's, it's a couple of things. The Wi-Fi, which is on the uh, NPC X in the live, and the one has an actual ether port, but it's a wired connection, basically. It's not wireless. So the so far, what the Wi-Fi does, it allows you to sync with Ableton. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you can sync your Splice account to where you can load your Splice library directly to the NPC over the internet through Wi-Fi. Okay. And then the other function so far is updates. Okay, so you can do your updates through the Wi-Fi. Those are the functions so far. Somebody asked me about, oh, can you hook up some Bluetooth speakers? As of now, no. Maybe this will be a function with the new 3.0 software. But I can imagine maybe some type of latency going on. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe good for playback, but not while you're creating. You know, that little latency is like you just went back to the old days. You know, with that hitting your pad and then it plays two seconds later. Like, yeah, we don't, we don't need that. But uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on, on this new update. Am I excited? No. But um, let's just see what happens. This may not be the official situation. If it is, uh, I don't know. It it has to do something different than what the X than what the X does. If it doesn't, I'm not gonna uh, deal with it right now. I guess. But we'll see. You know, who knows? Maybe they maybe they, they will get that real vintage circuitry thing going on, but they they probably thinking it's too expensive or it's going back in time too far. But uh yeah, be sure to like and subscribe, share, and uh ring that notification bell and leave your comments below. And let me know your thoughts on the rumor of the XL and the leak today, the leak that came out today. Alright. <laughs>